We all love getting to see older Pokemon get new evolutions every time a new Pokemon game comes out, and I think this is no more exciting than when it happens for Pokemon who previously didn't evolve. While it's understandable most of the time when these Pokemon don't evolve, it's also fun and exciting to think about the potential that these Pokemon could have if they had evolutions. So today, we're going to take some Pokemon that don't evolve and give them brand new evolutions. So I've got a few evolutions that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, and they were able to happen thanks to the very mascot of this channel, Fulkachi. Fulkachi is from my new Histrobi Chronicles game that I've been working on, and now he's got his very own super soft and adorable plushie that you can get for yourself right now at histrobishop.com. That link is in the description, by the way. This thing is super cute and high quality, as I spent over a year making sure that every detail on it was just right. And now is the perfect time to grab one, because we are in the thick of fall and headed straight for winter. So it's the perfect time for a soft little cuddle buddy like Fulkachi. Also, if you're doing some holiday shopping, then you're in luck as well, as there is also an upcoming Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale where you can score 10% off your order from November 23rd through the 28th by using code BFCM at checkout. Fulkachi makes a great gift for any plush lover in your life, and picking one up directly supports the creation of videos just like this, and it also supports the literal, actual video game that I am making for you guys, which is gonna be a ton of fun. So grab one now at histrobishop.com, that link is in the description, and a big thank you to all of you guys for all your support. A quick shout out as always goes to my main man, Oscar Belmonte, for drawing the artwork of the designs you're about to see. He is amazing and you should definitely check him out with the links in the description. With that said though, we are going to begin with a big one, and that is none other than Love Disc. Ironically, pretty much everyone hates this Pokemon that is all about love, because it's basic, plain, boring, weak, or in general doesn't really offer anything exciting, so it probably more so than any Pokemon deserves an evolution that tries to change all of that, and so I have decided to give it one. This is Grievish, my idea for a Love Disc evolution. Now, right off the bat, you can probably tell what Grievish is based on, and that, following in the footsteps of Love Disc, is a broken heart, which is not only applied because of the fun concept it offers, but also because it's in reference to the lack of love that Love Disc has received from the fanbase. You can see this in its new fins that resemble a broken heart, as well as its jagged mouth line that also resembles a broken heart as well. And that's the other big thing with this design too, is that it literally flips Love Disc on its head and has its mouth and face facing the opposite direction compared to Love Disc itself. This is partially to execute that broken heart motif that I just mentioned, but also it's to make this Pokemon stand out in a different and surprising way. After all, Love Disc has garnered so much animosity from fans due to its perceived blandness and lack of anything cool or interesting about it. So a Love Disc evolution should be all about looking cool and interesting, and in this case, even a bit shocking. The concept is that the ridicule that this Pokemon received as a love disc saddened this Pokemon so much to where its emotional state became warped and twisted, resulting in the broken-hearted body you see before you, as well as its reversed body, as that is kinda like a physical manifestation of love disc's emotional transformation upon evolving into Grievish. And upon evolving into Grievish, it also becomes Water Ghost type, which not only fits this Pokemon, but I think is another thing that helps to add more pizzazz and excitement to a Pokemon that desperately needed it. 
The name Grievish also comes from exactly where you're probably thinking. The terms grieve, as in it is grieving over not being loved, and fish because it's a fish. And I do know for the record that Grievard also exists, so it's kind of similar in name to it, but technically Grievish is using a different kind of grieve in its name, and Pokemon names have also used similar words in them before. I figured if Torkoal and and Torterra can exist, then so could Grievard and Grievish. Finally, I imagine that the way this Pokemon could evolve from Love Disk could be really interesting as well as sad. The method of evolution that I have come up with for it is that it could evolve from Love Disk after leveling up 10 levels without coming into battle, meaning that it is just gaining experience from the experience share, but is not actually being chosen by the player to participate in a battle. That, I think, would be a good in-game representation of the lack of love this Pokemon feels, that causes it ultimately to evolve into this new Pokemon, and I think this could totally redeem Love Disk if it actually existed. You know, I brought up Torkoal just barely in that previous section, who also happens to be another unevolved Pokemon, so let's go ahead and focus on it. Torkoal is another Pokemon who people have often imagined getting an evolution, and this is the concept that I have come up with for a Torkoal evolution. Meet Diator, the Diamond Pokemon. If you couldn't tell, this evolution takes Torkoal's concept as the coal Pokemon and has it take that next logical step to become diamond themed, which I think is pretty cool and makes a lot of sense. Although, after the fact, I will admit that this does kind of bring it close to Terrapagos conceptually. However, you could also just tie that into the lore of this Pokemon with a Pokedex entry that says that it is believed that Diator somehow descended from Terrapagos, and honestly, everyone would eat that up and think it's really cool, so I think we can actually make this work in our favor. Adding diamonds into its design has also made it a fire steel type referring to the hardness of the diamonds themselves. With a shell that's literally made out of diamonds, this would naturally also make it the target of poachers and jewelers and treasure hunters, so I could also see this Pokemon's lore being similar to that of Stantler and Weirdeer. It says in Stantler's Pokedex entries that it was hunted almost to extinction for its antlers, and that's presumably why it doesn't evolve into Weirdeer anymore, because it's preventing itself from doing so as a form of survival, so that its antlers won't be big and large enough to hunt. That same idea could also be happening with Diator, to where it could be introduced as a new Pokemon someday, but the reason why we haven't seen it for all this time is because Torkoal have had to avoid evolving into it in order to survive, so that they wouldn't be hunted for their diamonds. The name Diator is also pretty straightforward as well, coming from Diamond and Tortoise, and also technically Torkoal. But with that said, please go ahead and let me know any ideas you might have for other names for these Pokemon in the comments as well, because I'm honestly totally up for hearing other options, and I love the names that you guys come up with too. Finally, for its method of evolution, I came up with something that's kinda perfect, but also crazy at the same time, so if you think it's too wild, we could just have this guy evolve by level up or something too. But the method that I did come up with is that Torkoal could evolve into Diator after leveling up while battling a Pokemon with the ability Pressure, since Coal requires immense pressure to be turned into diamonds. This would make it pretty hard to evolve since a lot of Pokemon with the pressure ability are legendaries, but in terms of an overall fit, it makes perfect sense and is a fun way in my opinion of incorporating its design into its evolution method, so I figured I would at least go ahead and throw it out there.
Let's go ahead and move on to yet another Hoenn Pokemon though, which wasn't intentional, I promise, it just seems that Hoenn has a lot of unevolved Pokemon who could evolve, I guess. And our next one, or rather two, are Plusle and Minin. Now, these two don't evolve because they're Pikachu clones, who didn't evolve until Palmy broke that rule in Generation 9. But they're obviously small in stature with plenty of room to grow, and since evolving Pikachu clones is apparently on the table now thanks to Palmy, let's go ahead and evolve them. This is Multiplusle and Dividun, the evolutions of Plusle and Minin, respectively. Now, again, I'm going to go over their names in a sec, but be thinking of some alternate names to throw in the comments in the meantime for these two, because these guys were pretty tricky to come up with names for. However, as tricky as their names were, the concepts of these Pokemon were a piece of cake, which is another reason why I thought Plusle and Minin were good candidates for evolution. Following in the mathematical footsteps of their pre-evolutions, these two Pokemon have a theme of multiplication and division, which is kind of the next natural step up from addition and subtraction, so it's a perfect evolution concept for these two. However, they don't just call it a day and leave it at that, because there are layers to these designs as well. In addition to being based on these mathematical operations, these Pokemon are also based on their literal interpretation as well. So, for example, Dividun is a mischievous Pokemon who likes to divide others and have them squabble and fight against each other, which is why it looks so sinister and like it's up to no good. This attitude also gives it a new typing, and makes it electric dark type as well. As for Multiplusle, it's a more positive Pokemon that likes to multiply the abilities and traits of those around it, and as such is an electric fairy type. This theme of positive and negative personalities, and not just mathematical inspirations, is also what gives these Pokemon their overall color schemes, as Multiplusle is very bright because it's a positive Pokemon, and Dividun is on the darker side of things to represent its mischievous nature. And, as a nice little touch from a boy Oscar, they were also drawn in a pose that resembles the symbol of their respective mathematical inspiration, which is a really cool detail. With that said though, let's go ahead and get into the name. These guys were tricky to name, as I said, since their names essentially had to have the terms multiply and divide in them, just like Plusle and Minin used the terms plus and minus in their names. I originally came up with the name Mischievide for the Minin evolution, which I really like as it comes from Mischief and Divide and describes this Pokemon absolutely perfectly, but I was unable to come up with a good equivalent name for the Plusle evolution, so I ended up giving them the sort of stand-in names of Multiplusle and Dividun instead, which derive from their pre-evolution's names as well. So, if you can come up with a name similar to Mischievide for this Plusle evolution, leave it in the comments below, because I would love to hear it. Finally, for their evolution method, since these Pokemon were made the way they are, to showcase the concept of double battles, which were also introduced in Generation 3 just like them, I think these Pokemon should also evolve during double battles as well. So, Multiplusle would evolve from Plusle at level 25 while leveling up in a double battle and it evolves at level 25 because 25 is a square number, which is a number that is the result of another number multiplied by itself, in this case, 5 times 5. Likewise, Dividun would evolve the same way and at the same level because 5 is also the square root of 25, which involves a process of division, which I think ultimately reflects these Pokemon's inspirations really well and would be a really neat method of evolution, in my opinion. And those were some evolutions for Pokemon that don't evolve. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new because it really helps out.
out. Be sure to pick up a Focacci plushie as well with the link in the description below because that helps out the channel tremendously as well and genuinely makes videos like this one able to happen. And it's also immensely cute and soft and high quality, so you do not want to miss out on the chance to pick up one of these little guys. With that said, I will be back very soon with another video, and until then, as always, thank you so much for watching this one, I really, really appreciate it, and I will smell you guys later.